Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're excited to see all of you here at our Framatome Operational Center of Excellence here in Lynchburg, Virginia. I'm Denise Wernley, Vice President of Communications for Framatome Inc. Welcome to our employees, our neighbors, and special welcome to our Facebook friends who are watching us live via digital media today. Those of us who work here at Framatome have been on a long journey, about three years as a matter of fact. It ended on December 31st of 2017 with the divestiture of our organization to new shareholders. We emerged as a financially strong, innovative, and forward-looking company. We started a new chapter on January 4th when we introduced a new name and brand for our company, and that brings us to our celebration today as we symbolically unveil our new sign bearing the logo for Framatome. On behalf of Framatome Inc. President and CEO Gary Minona and the rest of the executive staff, I want to thank the federal, state, and local leaders who are here with us today took time out of their busy schedules to join us for this celebration. We have staff from Senator Kane and Congressman Goodlatte's offices here, representatives from the Virginia Economic Development Partnership, Vice Mayor Trine Tweedy, Council Members Randy Nelson, Turner Perot, and Sterling Wilder joined us today, thank you. And a host of Lynchburg City and Campbell County officials are with us. Thank you all for helping us commemorate this very special occasion. And speaking for our 1,300 team members in Lynchburg and another 1,000 colleagues from our locations across North America, we are thrilled to have Virginia Governor Ralph Northam, Lynchburg Mayor Jen Foster, and Senator Steve Newman will join us shortly to speak to us and join our ceremony today. Later on, Gary will also talk about Framingham's history, our industry, and our team as we begin this exciting new chapter. Here at Framingham, the safety of our employees, our customers, our visitors is always first priority. Today is a perfect example of that culture. We heated the forecast, which is calling for thunderstorms and strong winds, <laughs> and moved this event inside. You all expected to be outside today, I know, for the unveiling of our sign. The safety is always our first priority here. If an evacuation alarm should sound, we ask that you exit through the doors on my left. Our employees will go to your normal muster areas. Our guests will go towards the back. The building directly behind us is the Nuclear Park Center. We ask that you go towards the left of that building, and one of our team members will escort you inside. Now let's get the program started. It is my pleasure to introduce our first speaker, Virginia Secretary of Commerce and Trade, Esther Lee. Secretary Lee was appointed in December and is a strategic business leader with senior management experience in Fortune 500 companies and government. She has served as Global Chief Marketing and New Business Officer at Burson Marstella, which is a, one of the world's largest strategic communications firms. In 2009, President Barack Obama appointed Secretary Lee as Senior Policy Advisor to the Office of Innovation and Entrepreneurship and the National Council, the National Advisory Council on Innovation and Entrepreneurship. Please welcome Secretary of Commerce and Trade, Esther Lee. Hello, good morning, I guess. Uh, I'm honored to be here for this important uh, occasion. Um, as, as Denise mentioned, I spent most of my career in the private sector at companies like Siemens, and I understand from Gary, uh, Siemens Nuclear is now part of Framatone, companies like AOL and Time Warner, and uh, I've been fortunate enough to serve uh, in government a few times. Um, I thought I would spend the rest of my career in the private sector until I got a call from the, from the governor, and this is a wonderful opportunity to serve our great state. Um, the more I learn about Virginia, the more I'm I'm proud to call myself a Virginian, having grown up in six different states. Um, as you probably know, Virginia is home to 23 Fortune 500 com uh, companies, uh, as well as the U.S. headquarters of com you know, uh, the Fortune uh, 500 companies include companies like that you have all heard of, Capital One, Hilton, Northrop Grumman, as well as the U.S. headquarters of other companies like Nestle, and now today the North American headquarters of a wonderful uh, company in an important space for our country, Framatome. So we are honored to be here and to celebrate with you this wonderful uh, uh, occasion and we want to thank you for all that you're doing for the regional economy here uh, and, 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 and the uh, great things you will do going forward for our, our great Commonwealth. And so without further ado, I wanted to introduce the 73rd Governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia and my boss, Ralph Northam. <laughs> Thank 
Well, good morning, and thank you, Esther, for that kind introduction. And I'm, I'm, you're, I'm not your boss. So we're, 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 we're all in this together. We, we work to serve the, the Commonwealth, and we're just so happy to be here in Lynchburg. Uh, just to a little bit of reminiscing, if it's okay, my mother uh, went to college here in Lynchburg at Randolph Macon, and I just had such fond memories. And I, I came often with her and. And I have watched Lynchburg just grow so much uh, over the last years. And as you all know, we had a, a downturn in our economy back in 07 and 08. And, and I'm just so proud of what's going on here in Lynchburg. And it's due to the great leadership, Mayor Foster. Thank you for all you do. And I know Senator Newman is going to be with us shortly. And I, I've had a great uh, working relationship with Senator Newman over the last 10 years in Richmond. But you all are just doing in wonderful work and, and have so much to be proud of here in in Lynchburg. I, I had a, a wonderful tour uh, just a, a few minutes ago uh, of Framatome and, and uh, Gary and, and Craig were, were so kind to, to show me around and, and just the sophistication of the work that you do at this uh, great company and, and we're so proud that you're here in Virginia employing about 1,300 individuals and, and for you to have chosen to move your corporate headquarters to, to Lynchburg uh, it's just wonderful news for uh, for Lynchburg, and it's also wonderful news for the, the Commonwealth of Virginia and, and also for your your company uh, as well. A lot of folks ask me, uh, said, Ralph, what do you want to do as the 73rd governor of the Commonwealth? And, you know, it wasn't that long ago that, that Virginia uh, was the number one state in this great country of ours in which to do business. And and for a number of reasons, we, we slipped off of that uh, rating. And, and we're coming back. And, and I, I just look forward to, to working with all of you. And, and, and this is all about a strong economy and, and driving our economy in Virginia. And, and one of the things that I am so proud of your company for doing is, is taking advantage of our, our workforce development right here in Lynchburg. A lot of your employees are, are homegrown, if you will. And, and we know that the jobs of the 21st century are, are really much different from when I was growing up there. And well, we like to talk about STEAM H related, but science, technology, engineering, the arts, math, and healthcare, and very high tech jobs. And, and actually jobs also that you don't necessarily need a, a four year college education for. And I know you all have taken advantage of our great community colleges across Virginia, and, and we encourage you to, to continue that. So, so we're so proud of you and, and just uh, want to make sure that we can continue to do everything that we can uh, in Virginia to, to welcome uh, business. The last thing I just want to mention, and, and Gary and I had a discussion uh, a little bit earlier as we toured uh, uh, your facility. Uh, I, as you may know, am a veteran of the United States Army. Uh, and I will do anything that I can to make sure that we take care of our veterans. We want to make sure that Virginia is the most veteran-friendly state uh, in our country. And, and as you know, our veterans are very highly skilled and trained. And so, Gary, thank you so much for, uh, for uh, making it a priority to, to, uh, to hire veterans. And as you all may know, we have a V3 program, Virginia Values Veterans. Uh, our goal at the end of the last four years was to hire 20,000 veterans. We've now gone past 30,000, and we certainly want to continue that, that trend. So, so congratulations, and uh, I know you all are already here. You've been here for 50 years, Gary, but uh, uh, welcome more uh, to, <laughs> to the, the Commonwealth of Virginia. So if you could join me, I have a, just a presentation for you, Gary. Thank you. This is a Virginia flag that has been flown proudly over our capital, and I wanted to bring it to you today. And actually, you have good wind out there today. I yeah. <laughs> should be able to display it quite well. But uh, uh, congratulations, and uh, we look forward to, to uh, future uh, uh, work with you in the Commonwealth of Virginia. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, I'd like to welcome all of our guests to Framatome, and in particular, again, we'd like, we can't thank Governor Northam enough for taking time out of his busy schedule, Secretary Lee, um, Senator Newman, and, and our Mayor, uh, Joan Foster. Um, we're excited to be here today, um, and thank you, Governor, for helping us celebrate moving our North American headquarters to Lynchburg, Virginia. We've been in Lynchburg, in, in this area, for about 60 years, and we're proud to call it 
our North American headquarters. As this is now our new headquarters, we will be preferentially hiring into this community to serve as future growth of our U.S. operations. Uh, the Framatome name may be familiar to many of you who are longtime Lynchburg residents or know the nuclear industry. It's a strong, respected brand, both in the industry and in our community. Since 1958, Framatome has been focused on developing nuclear energy, on servicing and fueling today's nuclear fleet, and on continuing to advance the future of nuclear energy. For this reason, we embrace the heritage of the Framatome name as we move forward as a strong company, while also embracing the heritage of Virginia, which, as some of you may know, and I know the governor is well aware and planning some things, in 2019, will celebrate the 400th anniversary of the first representative legislative assembly in the new world. In all, the energy industry provides employment for well over 50,000 people in Virginia and is home to many companies with a focus on nuclear power. Nuclear power has an important role to play in providing reliable and low carbon electricity around the world, across the United States, and right here in Virginia. As a matter of fact, nuclear power provides about one-third of our total electricity here in the Commonwealth and nearly 99% of our emissions-free electricity. Dominion Energy operates the North Anna and Surrey nuclear power plants, providing enough clean air energy to power nearly a million homes right here in Virginia. They are our customer for servicing the nuclear fleet, and we are their customer as they provide power to operate our facilities and homes. Right here in our community, we have other companies that support the nuclear ener energy industry, such as FlowServe, Arifin, Arifin uh, local machine shops, and of course, uh, BWXT, with whom we share common roots, but now sometimes compete. However, when it comes to this community, we're still family and friends. Additionally, there are many other suppliers across Virginia dedicated to nuclear, such as Lightbridge in Reston, Virginia. In January, we joined Lightbridge to announce our joint venture in Fission. Together, we are working to develop, manufacture, and commercialize an advanced fuel technology that will make commercial fleet even safer and more efficient. I think it's clear that although Framatome is an international company with global reach and experience, we're also very much a U.S. company employing 2,300 full-time employees across North America and training an additional 3,000 skilled craft and technicians annually to support our work. We've trained nearly 50,000 um, in our training center that we gave Governor uh, Northam uh, a tour of this morning. More than half of our experienced, knowledgeable, and passionate employees are based here in Central Virginia. They are our friends, neighbors. We volunteer in many capacities to help make this community a great place to live. Um, together, we are and will continue to be a leader in the nuclear ener energy industry, a company with deep roots in Virginia, and a proud member of the Lynchburg community. So again, thank you for being here today, and now I'd like to introduce our mayor. We are fortunate to be joined by Mayor Joan Foster. Mayor Foster has lived in Central Virginia for 38 years and graduated from Lynchburg College with three degrees in education. She was elected in 2002 to the Lynchburg City Council as the at-large member, and she became the first female mayor of Lynchburg. She has served as vice mayor and mayor for eight years, and she has held the title of mayor four times in her, in her career. So please welcome Mayor Joan Foster. day to be alive in Lynchburg. I have to bring up uh, former Mayor Jimmy Bryant, bless his heart, um, but he had it right. You know, it's a great day in Lynchburg when we can come together. And I walked into this room and I heard all this excitement. And, and of course, it's an exciting day when we talk about a valued business expanding and having headquarters here. It's, it, to me, that is a beautiful thing. But to our esteemed Governor Ralph Northam, to our Secretary of Commerce and Trade, Esther Lee, and of course, to CEO, Gary Mignogna, our other honored guests, and my fellow council members. It's so great to see your faces and our city manager, Council Member Wilder, Vice Mayor Trené Tweedy, Council Member Turner Perro, and our city manager, Bonnie Severchak, our Deputy City Manager, Charles Hartgrove, excuse me, Charles. <laughs> 
just good morning and what an honor i am so honored to be here and have this opportunity to join in this happy occasion and to share this great news um, with a company who is very much a long valued member of our community and you know they they don't just come to work here these folks get busy in our community and they give back and that makes us extremely pleased that we know now that Framatome has made the decision, I'm sure the cat's out of the bag, to have its headquarters here in Lynchburg. And we, of course, we value Framatome so much. They're, like I said, a major employee. They have over 1,300 of our folks, Central Virginia, working here. We are so proud that this company will continue to show its commitment to this community, though, through partnering with our arts and civic organizations because they're very, very much involved and believe in giving back. And that's a big thing for me personally. They're very much, as the governor mentioned, involved in our education, our STEM programs. They serve on our boards. They come here, they work all the time, but yet they make that extra time. They volunteer with very many different programs. And as, bare, as busy as Gary's schedule is, I know he's on the board of Lynchburg Beacon of Hope, and I appreciate that personally, since that is my employee. At, he is so concerned about our youth and about the future workforce of this community. And there are other Framatone employees who serve on the boards of organizations such as United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, the Academy, Amazement Square, the list could go on forever and ever, and it's just a heartfelt thanks I give you today for all that you give back to us in this community. I know that Framatone believes strongly in being socially responsible and doing what they can to improve the quality of life for everyone here in Central Virginia. Framatone is one of the reasons why we can so readily say that Lynchburg is a great place to live, work, and play. So thank you again, Gary, and all those who made the decision for this momentous day and for choosing Lynchburg for your headquarters. Extremely pleased. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I cannot be remiss. I would be really fussed at if I didn't present our esteemed governor with the official Lynchburg love shirt. So I hope it's the right size. It's not as exciting as the Virginia flag, but thank you. Thank you, Mayor Foster. It is my pleasure to introduce our final speaker, the Honorable Steve Newman. Senator Newman is the President Pro Tem of the Virginia State Senate. He represents the 23rd Virginia Senate District and was first elected in 1995 after serving in Virginia House of Delegates and on the Lynchburg City Council. Steve and I also went to high school together, but I will say he was at least a year or two ahead of me. <laughs> Please welcome Steve Newman. Good morning. Good morning. Gosh, what a great day. Governor, good to see you. I tell people everywhere I go that he's a Democrat, but man, he's a great guy. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. Everywhere I go, he is an honorable and a great man. And, and Governor, it's just great to be here uh, with you today. You know, I enjoy your company in Richmond, but I enjoy your company much better here. So uh, good to have you uh, back here. Governor, also, thank you for your commitment to jobs and economic development. It's real. We see it in Richmond. We see it in your budget. Your money has uh, indicated that in your commitment here today. Also, uh, to Scott Garrett and Kathy Byron and the Honorable City Council, great to see you guys uh, here uh, as well. Also, to uh, VEDP, uh, the City of Lynchburg, the Lynchburg Business Alliance, or the people here from the Alliance, Thank you. Thank you guys for what you guys have done to help make uh, today. But most important, I want to, uh, to really welcome uh, Fran Matome back home, right? Um, I know that your heart never left us. Uh, Charlotte may have uh, enticed you away for a short time, but your heart never left us. And I know your 1,300 
employees are delighted to have the headquarters back here. But what's been great about your company, Gary, is you've really, really never left us as far as your commitment, commitment to those employees and those that serve you so, uh, so well. You know, the people in this room know that Framatone is a world leader in nuclear design and, and construction and also in maintenance. Uh, and Lynchburg is the hub of nuclear activity uh, for many, many decades. Uh, the people in this area understand uh, that nuclear power is important to us. Nuclear is clean. Nuclear is safe. It is abundant. And it's homemade when we do it here, isn't it? So uh, we're very, very proud of the nuclear industry. And as uh, Washington figures Washington out, which may take a while, um, they're going to re-recognize the importance of clean and abundant uh, nuclear energy. It's only fitting, uh, Gary, that you move uh, your headquarters back uh, to Central Virginia. You know, Central Virginia, look around here, is very rich. Uh, we're rich in many ways. As the mayor said, we're rich in education and we're rich in the quality of life and we're rich in our business-friendly environment. And Framatone, your announcement today makes us stronger, makes us richer. So thank you for that uh, today. So today we say thank you for uh, choosing us again. Uh, we're honored to, to have you. And I know you had many offers. You know, these guys could have gone anywhere in the world, certainly anywhere in the United States, and they chose uh, to come home back to Lynchburg. So thank you very much. Governor, great to see you again, sir. Thank you. Thanks again to all of our guest speakers for helping Framato make this exciting announcement here today with our employees and with our partners here in Central Virginia. At this point in the program, we plan to do this grand unveiling of our new sign on the front lawn. Since the weather did not cooperate, we did an early unveiling yesterday under better conditions, and we captured it on video, and we want to share it with you today. So let's take a look. So we don't want to see that floating around on Facebook with any crazy memes or anything like that. <laughs> Many thanks to Mayor Foster and Margette Upshore for trekking over here yesterday and helping us to do that big unveil of our, of our sign. This brings us to the close of our formal program. I want to thank in particular Governor Northam, Secretary Lee, Mayor Foster, and Senator Newman for being here with us today. You all are invited to stay for some light refreshments that are over here to the left. For our guests who are staying for lunch and the tour, please meet over here by the double doors. Becca is raising her hand, and we have folks to take you upstairs to where the lunch is. Thank you all very much for being here. <laughs>